in one single phase of the entire cardiac cycle. Number two, this is a pre-acquired image. So there is a time lag between the acquisition to the time that you put the procedure. Number three, the position of the patient was not the same. Most of the uh, CT labs, if you send them to radiologists, they put the arms up in the head. Uh, well, that's not the way you put the, the patient in the cath lab. So all these can change your registration and your validity when you try to use that information in the cath lab. So the, the acquisition of the image has to be planned ahead of time if you are going to use that in the cath lab uh, as a co-registered image in order to be accurate. So we have developed a whole series of protocols for the acquisition during the, uh, for patients in tavern or any structural procedure that we do. And then we do exactly what you see here. We do register by, uh, if there are no internal landmarks, uh, by injecting usually five cc's of contrast in the sinuses, or we can shoot uh, in the coronaries, and that will allow us to do the co-registration in a very uh, reliable manner. Now, the dots that you see here are the dots that were in, uh, put by the pre-planning. And based on that, we have a plane of deployment. The plane of deployment is the circle that you see in yellow. So in order to be absolutely uh, perpendicular to that plane, uh, you will convert that from a circle or an elliptic that you see now, depending on how you move your fluoroscopy tube, uh, into a single line. When you reach that single line, will be exactly the, uh, the, uh, the, the ideal plane uh, for uh, the deployment. There we go. So now you can see that the plane is basically, uh, that circle has been converted now into a single line where all the three uh, dots that you were seeing uh, before are aligned. And that's where we want to start uh, deploying the valve. But again, you see, you see the difference because one is in a real time fluoroscopy, the other one is the pre-acquired image. So there is a, definitely a, a difference between one and the other being single, uh, single plane, uh, single phase at, uh, representation on the fusion versus uh, the real time. But it does confirm very well, as you can see here, during the uh, deployment of the valve. And the main advantage is that obviates many of the multiple injections during the deployment. It is now so reliable that we've done uh, patients with uh, severe renal function uh, impairment where they had previous uh, CT acquisitions uh, and based on that uh, we were able to do that uh, deployment with very minimal uh, contrast during the procedure. Now you saw from uh, Dr. Zamorano also that how do we use the fusion of the uh, echo. This is real time. That is the big difference. This is not a pre-acquired. What you see is what's happening at that time. And I can fuse the 3D uh, echo, TE -E, uh, or TOE, they call them here, uh, is uh, with the fluoroscopy in real time. And allows me also to overlay the physiologic information. So I can see color flow Doppler superimposed onto the fluoroscopy, and I know whether I have a leak and where, in what part of the valve I have a leak. And I can correlate that very well with the fluoroscopy. Now, not everybody has this technology. And do we really need that co-registration and fusion to be able to deploy the valve at the right place? Well, there is a new technology that uh, has been uh, just recently approved uh, by the FDA and also by the CEMAR. Uh, there is a simple wire that has three loops, and basically that is a wire that is used for the deployment of the tab. And it's an analog locator that is embedded within the, the guide wire. And it has three uh, markers that you can see on fluoroscopy and you can pull and fix them underneath each of the commissures. And here is, we did the first uh, in men uh, about uh, 
four weeks ago. Uh, we've done uh, just a handful of, uh, of patients, uh, but we found that correlating this, uh, this wire with the fusion imaging technology, there was an excellent, excellent correlation. And basically, when you see those three dots of the uh, of markers of the wire aligned uh, at the thumb inserts by pulling, uh, they correlate uh, incredibly well uh, with the pre-planned angulation uh, for the plane of uh, deployment. So, in summary, is there a real need for imaging uh, registration for TAVIS? And the answer uh, may not be in all the cases but it certainly helps if you have that. Thank you very much.